What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. Got to do a quick one for you today here at the Auto Shop Life. So I'm going to get this one in pretty much a little bit of a freestyle. Had a company send me another OBD scanner. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm starting to really like these things. So I'm going to kind of freestyle this one. We're going to kind of run through it, check it out. I got my aviator here that I'm getting ready to sell to actually switch up to uh, a Corvette that I'm going to be buying. You guys follow me on Instagram. See the C4 I'm going to be picking up soon. Kind of a, a flip, flip up for the aviator. Um, but check it out. Get it right into it. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so switching it up a bit. Uh, been excited about the Corvette, getting this uh, Lincoln finished up, been working on that. But perfect time to break out this, uh, this scanner company sent us. Now, it's a pretty much OBD scanner. Um, you guys know I, I, like you to bring, I like to bring you the ones that I think are, you know, stand out between all of them. There's a lot out there, guys. This one's actually made by Innova. Um, and believe it or not, this is a supplement to, you know, snap on offer these in the supplement catalog. So you can pick these things up on the tool truck. Not sure if it's this model, but this one's got pretty good amount of features in it. Um, like I said, we're just going to kind of dive right down into it. Most of this stuff is like any other one. Tell you guys kind of the features, the functions on it. Run through, see what kind of codes we got on this. I do know we got an intake runner code we've been dealing with and a cam performance We'll see if that's going to be an issue if the code's still in there. I did clear it the other day, but we'll see. get it on the car, see what kind of codes we get on it. Maybe we'll get the new guy, get his thoughts on it. All right, guys. So before we jump down in the aviator and get to running through this thing, give you the form, functions, and features, just kind of show you what it comes with. Obviously, nice little pouch, zip-up pouch. Um, you know, not really any pockets in there. There's not really much to this. Just a super long cord, and it is really long. Comes with a little Velcro strap so you could bundle it up. Uh, one thing I did like about this cord and the end here, the DLC connector, it does have a light on it when you do power it up. Probably has like a 9 volt battery or something in the back there. It does come with a battery pre-installed. Um, and then you got some of your hardware buttons here. You got your uh, power button, you got your uh, menu button, freeze frame, you got a rocker up, rocker down, you got enter dead in the middle there, you got a dedicated erase button, uh, I think this is a system button, and then your DTC button. So pretty cool. Definitely, uh, definitely built well, definitely big enough screen. This thing is super bright. I don't know if you guys noticed that when I powered it on, but uh, you know, I dig it. You know, for something, you know, I wouldn't really call this like an entry level scan tool. I could definitely see myself using it here around the shop, but I think, you know, for me, my opinion is to be more geared toward DIY guy, you know, knocking out cars in the driveway or, you know, check engine light came on on your personal vehicle and you're not at the shop or you're at home on the weekend. This would be definitely something to put in the home toolbox. But uh, we're going to jump down in this aviator and uh, see what kind of functions this thing's got. Check it out. All right, guys. So we got Stan checking it out. You know, what better to uh, kind of bring it to and then get another man's opinion on it. But I, you know, you guys know me. We're going to freestyle this one. But I went through it. I checked it out. This thing's definitely got all the forms and functions. Uh, and you could actually see him plug it in. We did. Not ready. If the camera could pick that up. Um, you can see the monitor still not ready. As soon as you, soon as you plug it in, it's pretty much ready to go. And then it gives you the orange light, you know, telling you that, you know, monitors are still not set. So here's the first menu here. The screen's super bright. The camera's having trouble picking it up. But you got your global ABS. This does have airbag. And then you got OEM enhanced. And that's the one we're pretty much going to go to because that's probably with the best uh, functions of this tool to kind of show it off what it has. Ooh, and auto linked. It's got an auto leak function. So hit yes. <clears throat> You can see the load menu. Mm -hmm. It's got the key on engine off, key on engine running function, which is pretty cool. You know, I did not check to see if this thing has live data on it, but you know, you know, kind of where this thing shines is it being able to scan ABS, it being able to scan airbag and get into those modules. I thought that was really cool. Obviously the light on the end of the dongle, the super long cord, and then here's the intake runner I was telling you guys about that we've been dealing with. And then, of course, the 1,000 for and monitors not being ready. Upload. That's from, the, from us unplugging it, you think? Yeah. So a couple codes in it. Some of these, like I said, I was anticipating, I know about, but pulls them all up. Wasn't there a... Uh, Used to be a crank sensor code. Well, yeah, that one we were dealing with, we hopefully fixed that. But wasn't there a... Uh, for the uh, airbag? 
Yeah, there's a function for the airbag. Or was that was that a low voltage? Probably because we pulled the alternator. Yeah, that too. was the low voltage. So how do we get into that? That, that was for ABS. So what do you do? Just hit ABS then? No, you got to go back to systems. Go back to systems. And then you could scroll up to ABS, hit enter, and I already erased that. And so it gets into the module gone. pretty darn quick yeah. for. So that's already erased. Yeah, I already erased what that. What about what about airbag? I thought I saw it on airbag. There. You got to go, go back one. to systems. Show us how that one works. That's SRS. Enter. It's like a low voltage code. There it yeah, is. Yeah, there it is. All right, so that might be from us messing with the alternator too. So but it gets into it all. Yeah, it's got Pretty all the good. functions. Here, let me let me play with it for a second here. Mm -hmm. Get some better lighting on it too. So dedicated erase button, obviously for the codes. Um, trying to get some better lighting here. This is a super bright screen. I'm trying to look through the camera at this thing. And it shows Lincoln OEM enhanced. That's cool. Now that it's linked, okay. it's showing the actual name. Yeah. Key on engine off test. I didn't see no live data. Let's see what this does. That's right. Oh, I, the modules, you can hear the Yeah, I hear the relays off. clicking. Oh. Fan turned on. Oh, it doesn't hold. That's pretty cool. It runs that. And then it'll spit our codes back at us here. That's it. We'll do a key on engine running here, I guess. We'll go back to system here. We'll do a key. Go ahead, start it up. This one, you're going to have to like. Turn the steering wheel, pump the brakes. Let's see what this tells us here. Uh, Go ahead, turn the steering wheel, overdrive, yeah. Okay, yep. Once it picks it up. It's running through it here now. So we got a couple more codes it looks like here. Well, we're not yeah. the top it's not full. Anyway. Yeah, it's not we're fully warmed up. up. I'm getting a uh, exhaust throw too. Up. So that's pretty cool. Obviously temperatures because it's not fully warmed up, but that was definitely pretty decent. Didn't take very long for key on engine running. And then to go back, you would just hit system, and that would take you back to this menu here. Where was the battery test at? How do you get to that? It does menu. Menu. It's got oil reset. Yeah, here's all your DSL locator for the car. Yeah, here's all the settings here. It does offer oil reset. This car probably definitely supports that, or it at least tells you how to do it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So back to menu. Tells you where the OBD is, on what car, and all that. All that information is pretty much within the tool. That's pretty cool. Here's your battery. Got all the manual. That's cool. Helps, yeah. Go ahead, turn the engine off. Okay. Turn the key on. Headlights. Yeah, turn on headlights. It's taking us through the foot steps here. Alright. Continue. It's got a countdown. That's okay. I never knew that. So it's probably loading, the headlights are loading the battery to see if it can so handle it can the load here. For 10, 20 seconds. That's pretty cool. That's something I've never really seen outside of the, you know, mid, using the Midtronics. And we're testing through the DLC port, not actually the battery. So let's see what this is. Go ahead, turn them off. This is our first time doing this. Like I said, guys, freestyle right, on some of this stuff here. Hit continue. Start the engine three times. So we're really loading up the battery here now. Status normal, so that really loaded down the battery there for you, and it was telling it came back normal. That's pretty decent. Let's check this alternator one. That's probably when we got a rev in all that stuff. Engine needs to be running at normal temperature. To this, we all right, maybe we'll skip through this one, but that's pretty neat. So, uh, you got your drive cycle procedure, so it tells you how to you know set a monitor, how to complete a monitor. That's pretty cool. I usually get that information off Mitchell or Identifix. And then obviously your software version, tool library, tool settings. Pretty cool stuff. Definitely cool. So go back. Oh. Vehicle ID, you get your VIN and all that. Mm -hmm. Definitely nice. No live data. Though. Yeah, I don't see live data though. Which, like I said, this is not uh, something I'd be looking for live data. But uh, definitely has a lot of other cool stuff. Mm -hmm. 
that battery and alternator mounter is pretty cool. All right, wrap this one up, guys. All right, guys. So wrapping this one up, it, you know, it, pretty surprising. You know, this thing's definitely got some pretty cool features. Some of them, you know, didn't really want to run through in an enclosed shop right now. It's snowing outside. I don't want to be revving this thing you know, 25,000 RPMs to uh, get the alternator, but it does have the alternator. The battery test, it definitely makes you load that battery through the DLC, not bad at all. It'll definitely be able to detect the weak battery. I mean, starting this thing three times, having the headlights on, it's gonna tell you, it, you know, a good enough test for me for what it is. You know, anything after that, you'll wanna go at the battery and test it itself, but to have that feature, you know, through the DLC port on a handheld scanner under 150 bucks, you know, hey, you can't complain. Like I said, this would be more geared toward at-home scanner, in my opinion. Hey, can you knock out work at the shop in a professional life? Yeah, you could definitely, I could see myself taking this thing out to the parking lot and uh, messing around with some cars with it. And I will, and I definitely will check it out. But for what it is, my first impressions on it, you know, running through an actual car with actual codes in there, you guys seeing that I've been dealing with getting this thing ready to get rid of so I can get the next one. Um, it gets the job done and that's what I like to show on the channel you know I, I, I want to show these ones that stand out they're not like every other you know pocket scanner or OBD scanner you know they got to show something special and this one definitely has it and for Snap-on to offer it in a supplement catalog you know Innova is, is a good brand you know if Snap-on selling the stuff and uh, I don't know if my Snap-on said they're really warrantying them and all but they definitely offer them so Links will be down in the description. They are running a special between November 3rd and 5th or 15th. I'll leave all the information down in the description. You guys want to check it out. Amazon links below. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Check you guys in the next one. Signing out.